So today we got a kind of a cool one. You see some sprinter vans behind me. Like an Amazon truck, which is kind of cool. But uh, we're gonna visit Trevor, and today should be kind of a quick one. He's got kind of a smaller setup, which is kind of cool because he can he can roll around his entire setup wherever he needs to, and he kind of keeps everything minimalistic, which is cool. But uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find him. Today we're in a Mercedes dealer and we got Trevor here. Thanks for being out with me, man. I really appreciate it. So Trevor, Trevor works on a bunch of uh, Sprinter vans. I, I actually saw like a uh, Amazon van. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So how long have you worked here? Uh, I've worked here since November of 2020. Well, so a few years. years. Right on. You like working on European I cars? It. Yeah, do you really? Do. The labor rates in comparison to like American cars and Japanese and stuff like that. Yeah. Just much more for the technician. Are they really? Versus, huh. Yeah. My parents, well, everybody knows, you know, Mercedes aren't cheap to fix. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's mostly because of the labor. Gotcha. So we got, uh, you have a Cornwell cart here. I, to be honest, I've never seen a cart with, uh, like I've seen them, but I've never been in person uh, with a, a power drawer. But that thing looks, that thing looks sweet. How long have you had this box? Since 21. 2021. It's so big, like, <laughs> pictures don't do this justice. This is like massive. Oh, yeah. So is this, oh, this is raised because of the, the power drawer. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Most of my quick grab stuff's up here. Yeah. And then all my wrenches and torque wrenches and stuff like that, or yeah. just one drawer down, which is nice. So up here, do you have like a, a certain brand you go, I know your, your cart's Cornwell. So I have Mac, Maco, uh, Snap-on, Cornwell. That's Not really picky, more or less just, you know, nice. who had what I needed on that day that they showed up. Nice. So you like, get you get all the trucks out here? Surprisingly, yeah, we just started getting a Mac guy. Oh, did he you? Is, he is awesome. He is one of my favorite tool truck guys. But yeah, oh, no, okay. he is super cool, very reliable. He's here every week. That's which awesome. doesn't happen with most Macs, yeah. from what I've understood. Yeah, they kind of show up and then they don't, they never yeah. come back. So uh, that's cool. I really like their sockets because they're, they have like little teeth on the inside. What? Yeah, oh, like, oh, they're like the kind of like an RBRT yeah, have style. Yeah, like... that's cool. I didn't know Cornwall made one like that because I've seen one. Uh, I think Mac Macco had as a set kind of like that. Yeah, that's really cool. that flashlight is giant. Oh, that's my oh, that's my, my black light. For... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, AC leaks, like, oil leaks, stuff huge. like that. That's cool. Oh, that's, man, I, so I love this this grid design or this yeah. grid organization. So this is called Tool Grid. Um, I've there's a website for Tool Grid, but I actually got hooked up by the Matco truck guy. Oh, he what? said he had this sitting in his garage for like a year and a half, just unsold. What? And I, I had been wanting one, but the whole kit was like 150 bucks. Comes with all these, like quarter drive, three eighths, half inch. Um, just you know, wow. like a pegboard on a wall, but yeah, I flat. love that. You can comes with the ratchet, like little what? tips that hold the handles. That is cool. Huh. A quarter drive guy. Honestly, this thing is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's tiny. I love it. I use it all the time. Wow. Yeah, I love how you can like do whatever you want. Yeah. Basically. I'm able to charge my flashlights, my phone, and AirPods and stuff all right there, which is nice. Really nice too. Oh wow. Never really? thought I would need something that long, but surprisingly enough, like. Oh yeah. Quick. Comes in handy for a lot of things. Yeah, that's cool. So, and those are three different well. size. Nice. Is that a? Uh, it's a blue point set. Blue point. Just a. Huh. Oh wow! So you got a quarter inch on one side, and then. Yeah. So. Just like a yeah, bit you set can on put the bits side. in there. Oh, I can also nice. I use these on there every now and then for the tighter spaces yeah. and stuff. Are you uh, like a fan of the nip? I was just I have some your pliers. Nipex. Yes. Those are awesome. Yeah. Like these. Well worn. Yeah. I just bought these little flush cuts. Oh yeah. They're super nice. Tiny. Snap-on ratchets. I do basically. like my snap-on ratchets, yeah. Those are awesome. Um, I was almost sold on the new Matco ones because they have black. Oh black yeah. Black chrome or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I was really, really big fan of that. Are those little quarter inch 
wobblies? These, yeah. these are Mac. Oh, those are Mac. And yeah, they're just little quarter inch oh, nice. wobblies. Very, it was buy this and get these free. Oh, sweet. Or vice versa. One of the two. Nice. And these screwdrivers, do you have a like a screwdriver preference? Uh, honestly, that's the first set of screwdrivers I bought from Harbor Crate. Really? It's done me well. Wow. I haven't justified spending snap on truck prices or yeah. anything like that for, oh, that's for awesome. screwdrivers yet. Yeah. I do know they're nice. Oh yeah. But if but these are if these are working out for you, man. Other other necessary tools than screwdrivers. Oh so. yeah. That's a kind of cool like caddy for all your screwdrivers. Yeah. I had to I had to pull the back row and cut the feet shorter so it would fit in here. Oh, okay. And then my my overflows are just kind of like over on the side there. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's a big set. Oh, those are some huge nipples. Yeah. Holy crap. Those uh, come in handy quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Oh, I love how clean your your tools are. So you have the same grid system in here. You just yeah. So it was two boards, and they were a little. Say they were a little long this way. I had to cut it. And then use the extra there on the end. Oh, okay. Um, they do have a little bit more versatile options on their website, but right I just took what I could get for cheap. Yeah. Um, these, I did just expert? pick these up off the Mac truck. Oh, these wow. are like Max Blue Point, oh, like okay. to snap on. Expert. And they're reversible gear wrenches. Oh. Which I traded in my gear wrench set just for. Oh, that, wow. which is nice. Oh, it goes all the way down to six. Yeah, so six to twenty-four with no gaps. Oh jeez, like, yeah, I just can't get over this grid system. And these little like holders? Yeah, so like they come with like oh, a half so inch. Cool. So they just like literally drop right into place. Yeah, that is awesome. Also makes it nice for moving my cart around because I go from here to there and nothing's falling out. Or... Yeah. Who's? Th oh, this is a Mac. Mac, yeah, I love that thing. Oh, that's cool. Do you have to get these calibrated here? Um, no. So surprisingly, well, they have a good warranty on it. I did end up over torquing with this oh, once, really? <laughs> and Mac took it and ended up. They just gave me a new one. And is this the gear wrench? Yeah, this is my gear wrench. This one. With, so when I bought my wrench set originally, it was this and the wrench set for three hundred bucks. Oh wow! Um, which is a pretty good deal. Yeah. I use this strictly for like wheels and tires. Right and then a small quarter inch there. I see. Yeah. That's Rarely cool. gets used because this is a Mercedes specific torque wrench. It goes down to, it only goes up to like 12, 10, 12 newton meters. Oh, okay. Um, so, I don't really have a use for that. That's only in inch pounds and gotcha. everything German is newton meters. Oh, sure. Down here, this is actually a really neat little set from Amazon of all places, but just a gear inch, two or three finger puller. It's like super easy to set up. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, I think I've seen that where you don't have to put like bolts in yeah, each. Yeah, no bolts, no pins, or anything like that. Oh, that's cool. So, right on. Yeah, I'm really big fan of that. Yeah. Is that an extractor set there? Is that... Yeah, snap on extractors. Oh, yeah. Right on. And then, a fair amount of Amazon specials for those things that you know you don't need to spend a bunch on. Yeah. Well, like a socket, like an impact socket. You're not gonna, right. you're not gonna break anything like that. What's this one? That's actually. I bought this for one one part in it and one part only, and it was this. Oh wow! So Mercedes Benz rear toe adjustment is this size. That's a toe adjuster. Yeah. So a triple, tiny triple square. Tiny maybe? triple square in a really crappy spot. So having <laughs> oh, wow. a small quarter drive with like a locking angle Whoa. is like the ultimate thing to get up in there. Wow. Um, Huh, and that's a Matco set? Yeah, I just bought this too. <laughs> huh, uh, that's a nice set. I like it, it's like all-quarter drive. And they're like really shallow too. Yeah, wow. that was the selling point, especially for this one, because... Oh yeah. Yeah. That's why, I can't get over it, that's like <laughs> a, t a toe adjuster. Wow. Huh. Yeah, because then I'll, like, my other one is that big, you know, oh, so it sure, yeah. like, fit up there as well. Right. So. This, oh no, yeah. we didn't. Unfortunately, my nice tap and die set's over gotcha. so. Find the... The tap and die. Wow, that's a huge tap and die set. This is a lifesaver there. Holy cow. Love that thing. Did you do this? Yeah. That's little, cool. Little highlighting. Yeah. Got the anti vibe there. Oh, this thing. I love this. This is from Mac as well. Those are sweet hammers. Everyone that has one of those is just like. Awesome hammers. Quite the, 
Milwaukee guy, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Did you always have Milwaukee, or did you... Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah. For car stuff, I've always had Milwaukee. I've always been a huge fan. Oh, yeah. Do you have a, a Milwaukee tool that you just have to have? This right angle impact has been one of my favorite investments. Whoa. It's like super fast and puts down some really good torque. Oh, nice. And that just takes an M12 battery? Yeah. Nice. I like that trigger, too. Yeah. Usually the, the triggers on them are like the lever. I'm like the ratchet. Yeah, they're like that. I'm like the That's... ratchet where, you know, this is nice because you can break away with it. Sure. But it's slow. Oh, wow. So. Um, I still use that quite a bit, especially for the tighter spaces as that's big. Oh, gotcha. But this is my every single day tool. Nice. Along with my so nice big impact. The high torque there. That's sweet. Right on. Fair amount of stuff on this, which is amazing. Oh, that's sweet. Um, yeah. We do a lot of fuel filters and stuff on these, so I keep most of my quick grab stuff for fuel filters. and. Brakes. Nice. Dude, this looks like it rolls really easy. It does roll really nice, and it's totally adjustable. Kind of has like a a trailer hitch crank. Oh, okay, it to yeah. Go up and down. Nice. It's made to go like over the hood of cars, you know. Oh, work gotcha. On sprinters, yeah. so yeah. it doesn't really work for that part. <laughs> got a couple oh, yeah. grab tools here, pulling clamps. Oh, those are tiny. Those things are. These are nuts. Like, I don't know. Oh, wow. Are those gear wrench or what? These are Matco. Matco. Yeah. Huh. This is a lifesaver here. See these? Are those like coolant? Uh, to, oh, the... Yeah, oh, I didn't know that they had ratcheting ones. That's yeah. cool. That's a nice tool to have. Yeah. Which, you know, tight spaces. That's like a tiny, tiny drawer. <laughs> that's Whoa, my, that's my cool. Custom tool. That's, that's like custom tool? Yeah, I mounted the magnets to it. It's just a husky floodlight from my home depot. <laughs> That'd be so bright. It works so much better than like the tool truck ones that are wow. twice as much. That's awesome. So. Is it? You should turn it off. Oh, wow. Okay. I always use it right here or on that side. Oh, that's like daylight. But, yeah. I don't like working in the dark. So. That's genius. And like bricks and stuff, I'll mount it oh, on my shit. rack. And, yeah. That's cool. How'd you make it? Is it just... Uh, so it's just a you know, husky tripod light. It comes with a tripod and then these are just... Oh, you just put some magnets, magnets on it. Mounted to it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then I have my shot box, which kind of just has miscellaneous stuff. You know? Yeah, I was going to ask about this. Like, because I know that they uh, they supplied these. I always thought you had to use these so that... I every... technically have both, but that one's more or less just for snacks and... Uh, carry over <laughs> extra bolts and nuts and stuff, but yeah, yeah. I like the drawer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, those are sweet. I like those, yeah. yeah. Pretty cheap on Amazon. Yeah. And I like the yellow handles, too. Let's see. And down here, this, this bore scope is like, honestly, more of my coworkers have used it more than I have, <laughs> and they all love it, but. So. Oh, the test one, yeah. Yeah, and. Tesla just came out with a new one that has like the remote controlled tip that can move. What? Yeah, so. That's wild. That's only like 280 bucks, so that'll be. No kidding. That'll be on the list. Wow, so, so you don't have to like manhandle it while yeah, you're in there? Yeah. So. Wow. Nice. That'll be cool. <laughs> Thanks. Sweet. So, yeah, yeah, not a lot, but. Yeah, I know. a tight space, which is nice because. Yeah, I'm all it's an office. I like how this is kind of like an office. Yeah, setting. I got, like a really good spot over here. This is really neat. You got like a power bank in the back there? Yeah, so I got three plugs there and three there. Wow. What's that thing? Is that a... Uh, this is a Mercedes. Well, a TPMS reader for Mercedes. Oh, okay. Uh, shop tool. But super nice. Just literally walk up to each tire, scan the sensor. If it doesn't scan, it's dead. Oh, okay. Kind of easy, quick diag. And then is that like a... This a shop tool. Is that a like, diagnostics tool? It's like a Mercedes diag tool? Yeah. Nice. Does that do a lot of stuff that like a like an aftermarket scan tool can't do? Uh, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Mercedes is pretty well locked down, honestly. Uh, yeah. Like trying to do anything without that is 
not really possible. Really? Yeah, you're very wow. limited. That's wild. Huh, I always wonder that because I know like Autel and Snap-on have like, uh, you know, their, like their they can do a lot of diag stuff, but they can't do any type of like bi-directional stuff. Yeah. Huh. And a lot of two-step authentication and stuff like that in order oh, to really? even access these. So. Wow. That's yeah. wild. So even if you do buy one, <laughs> like you can't use it. No, the, the lease on it alone is stupid. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, guys, that was kind of a, a short one, but I love it because like all of these tools can be loaded up into that that small carriage. But Trevor, I really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, yeah, letting me come out and check it out. It's, it's not every day I get to come into a Mercedes dealer and let's see what it's like in here. Especially one that works on like a bunch of Sprinter vans. <laughs> Some pretty cool stuff. That's really cool. Bye, right, guys. Until the next one, we'll see you.